exercise. So in the past, this was a full length lab as similar to lab one through four and then the controls arm, which we'll talk about after the spring pause. Um, we're taking a slightly different approach this year and hopefully that's uh, in, in your favor here to allow you to focus on the concepts. Um, most of the most of the concepts here that we're going to talk about in a second and then exploring this exercise kind of from a a personal conceptual level and then the assessment is going to be quite a bit shorter than the previous assessment so we've done this to i guess ease your overall burden and and lower the overall stress level that you're that you could be feeling right now um, and let you focus on really the the main content of this so we're calling this an exploratory exercise. So we, we, we want you to take the approach of a, a scientist in the wild, so to speak, or uh, the slide that I'm gonna motivate this a little bit more. You can think of yourself as like a Area 51 UFO hunter scientist that is trying to understand this new technology that, that dropped down from the sky. So of course that's not exactly what happened here, but you can take that approach and we want you to watch these videos Think about what's going on. Try to explain it based on your own current level of knowledge of these dynamical systems and apply your current knowledge to what you're seeing and then also read ahead. So there's a rather old lengthy NASA document that's posted on a, a really on this <clears throat> yo-yo de spinning concept. So we want you to skim through that and pull out the pertinent information and really look closely at what the scientists back then, the engineers back then, how they approached this problem um, and try to understand different parts of that derivation. We're not asking you to understand all of the details there, but at least the pertinent material related to what you're seeing with this experimental apparatus, which I'll show on the very next slide. But as I mentioned, the assessment's gonna be quite a bit shorter. So we're only expecting on the order of one page of overall content. Um, that uh, you will have to generate a couple plots and a couple figures, but as far as the amount of writing that we are looking for with this exploratory exercise, it should be pretty pretty well reduced from what you've been exposed to on the previous four labs. We're also asking for a derivation. That derivation is going to follow nicely with some of the derivations that have been presented in at the end of the assignment and then also in the NASA document. Um, you don't necessarily have to have the information from those other documents, but it definitely helps you understand a good approach to starting this derivation. We're also going to ask for you to hand sketch what, what you're seeing with this apparatus. How is it behaving? What's happening when it's de-spinning? Um, kind of describe some things based on your fundamental understanding of these principles that you are, you're getting so far in the course. The assessment should take the form of um, an a executive summary, so something with a rather short introduction and a rather short conclusion, and then a body to convey what we're, what we're specifically looking for in the assessment. And then again, the derivation, we're just a handwritten derivation, something that's neat and legible, like you're turning it in on an exam or a homework or something. There's really no need to typeset it. So really, I hope most of the effort with this assignment is going to be you understanding and looking and trying to understand and asking the questions about what you're seeing with the videos and the hardware if you come in in person and take a look at it. So with all of that, let me go to the next slide and hopefully this movie, this little GIF comes through. But we basically have this little satellite which is indicated kind of in the middle of the screen. That's the part that's spinning around. We've got a motor down low and there's some videos that talk about all the different apparatuses and stuff, all the different parts of it. Um, we spin it up and then the masses are released and then it stops. So the first couple times you watch this and hopefully you're, you're kind of getting curious about this right now, but this seems like magic. Um, it's of course not magic, but we want you to kind of take this approach of what in the world is really going on here? How can I describe what's going on based on my current level of understanding of the material that you're getting in this class. So let's go into my next slide here. Uh, you can pretend that your team really has been hired by Area 51 or the United States Space Force, the newly founded branch of the military here, um, to understand this. So 
if you've seen the Netflix special about the Space Force, if you might remember General Naird, and you can imagine that General Naird ca came to you, uh, you and your team and said, we've got this new technology that we found in the Arizona desert, and we don't know how it works. We want you to tell us how it works. Like I mentioned, there's a technical note from 1962 as well as a resource from 1961 uh, that there we have um, at your disposal. So read through what's going on in those documents. They're not exactly uh, what is detailed what, what you're seeing here, but it, it's close. It definitely gives you a good start. And those documents were put together on a very similar form of technology. I recommend that you start by skimming some of those documentations and see how relevant it is to what you're observing with this Yo-Yo spinner apparatus that we have. Hey, sorry, I don't know what Siri's talking about. Uh, we want you to also be curious where this technology has been used in the past. So we're asking you to do a little bit of investigative research on Yo-Yo spinners that have been implemented on real satellites on real launch vehicles and talk about that in the form of about a single paragraph. So basically the brief memo, you can even address it to General Naird if you feel like it, should answer the question, how does this work? Um, that's what we're really looking at in terms of the grading. So here's that same video. We've got the satellite spinning around up top and then the masses get jettisoned from some electromagnets, get flung off and then through the, the actions of dynamics and, and some magic here, it stops. So here's a top-down movie of the same thing in full speed. So the revolu this the satellite spins at about 130 RPMs, and then when the masses get jettisoned, it really is on that is that fast. Here's a look high speed video. So you can get a better idea of how these masses kind of uh, unravel from the satellite and then how they get jettisoned from the apparatus. And then this is a similar view as to the previous one, top down showing in high speed. So you can see how the masses get deployed and then the spin rate of the satellite apparatus slows down ultimately to zero fairly quickly. So here's a link to the playlist for all those videos so you can watch them uh, time and time again and then observe what's happening and get curious, start asking questions, start coming up with sketches, things like that.